The great thing about being an electrician is that the experience you gain over the years can be used to start your own electrical business, allowing you to drastically increase the amount of money you're earning on a daily basis. And since electrical businesses have a tendency to succeed over and above other new ventures due to the high demand, there's no wonder that so many electricians take this opportunity for themselves. But what makes the starting and running of an electrical business so hard? And is there anything that you can do about this? Well, whether you're thinking of taking the leap or just want to know more about the ins and outs of starting a new business, you've come to the right place as we're about to explore the difficulties you'll face as well as what to do about them. So strap yourselves in and get ready to take some notes as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. The difficulties of running your own electrical business. The starting and running of an electrical business is difficult for a great many reasons, but by far the most prevalent difficulty can be found in the mindset that is adopted by electricians who decide to take this leap. You see, even though an electrical business is aimed towards the completion of the same work that an electrician is used to completing on a daily basis, it's not like business can continue as usual. It takes a lot more to run a successful business than merely being a good electrician with an acceptable amount of experience. Rather than simply thinking about the work that needs to be completed, the electrician in question now finds himself thinking about the quota of work that needs to be completed to keep the business afloat, usually while juggling the expenses of the business to ensure that a profit is made. Remember, around 80% of electrical businesses go bankrupt within five years of opening their doors due to a general lack of knowledge regarding the running of the business. There is a lot more to the running of an electrical business than merely completing the job requests that clients have brought in. To fully understand why so many new electrical businesses fail, let's take a deeper look into some of the difficulties that electricians often face when opening their doors for the first time. Number one, a general lack of time and balance. The opening of an electrical business places the electrician in question in a difficult position. Rather than merely completing the work that is being offered to him, he finds that he now has to do the extra work of actually running the business. This often leads to a general lack of time, with time management being a skill that either needs to be learned or developed by the electrician in order for the business to succeed. According to Dennis Matajevic, the general manager of franchising at Platinum Electricians, a lack of time management is often the nail in the coffin for a great many electrical businesses. Being able to show up on time is the very core of the job, after all. But this aspect of timekeeping becomes difficult when the electrician is now faced with juggling everything from traffic management to bookkeeping. The starting of an electrical business is often a life-consuming task, especially in the very beginning. What we mean by this is that electricians in this position often find that their entire lives start to revolve around the business. And while this may sound like a great idea at first, living and breathing through your business can result in a large strain because of the pressure and limit that this will have on your social interactions. As such, electricians who decide to move in this direction have to find a way to balance their work and life before this pressure becomes too encountered encapsulating. Taking a break from work, even for just a few hours, has an incredible effect on both charisma and working capacity. So be sure to take a load off and you'll be okay. Number two, no development of a business strategy, model, and structure. But by far, one of the biggest difficulties that new business owners come to face is a lack of knowledge insofar as the development of a business strategy, model, and structure is concerned. After spending years of working as an electrician, you get used to the quick in and quick out process of daily life. You know precisely what it takes to get the job done and know that if you go in your own direction and open your own business, you'll be doing exactly the same while pocketing even more cash. What many electricians tend to forget though is that this working environment they are used to is based upon a specific strategy, model, and structure which were there long before they started to gain the experience they have now. Going off in your own direction is thus not as easy as simply doing what you're used to doing as an electrician, as the basis for what you are doing will first have to be developed. In other words, when it comes to classic business running questions such as how the hiring of new employees will work and how the payroll of the business will be managed, new business owners often find themselves stumped. Making the leap from electrician to business owner not only requires the technical skills that you have, but a business acumen and knowledge as well. These skills, which are often lacking from those who have worked as electricians for the majority of their lives, need to be learned before the business can become successful, which is what brings us to the Electrician Accelerator. 
For those of you who don't know, Electrician Accelerator is an intensive mentoring and training program designed for Sears electrical business owners worldwide. It's through this portal that electrical business owners struggling with the day-to-day -day workings of their business can be trained on and coached through the problems that they're experiencing. This would include aspects unfamiliar to an electrician, such as the development of predictable sales and marketing systems to attract high profits, support tools, and direction for those battling to make ends meet, as well as intensive courses to help build a proper base for the business. And since all of these materials and support are available online, Electrician Accelerator is perfect for the business owner that has already taken the leap. Remember, it's only with the requisite business acumen that you'll be able to make a success of your business. And the longer you wait to get this knowledge, the further your business will slip from your control. Number three, lack of business management skills. Much like the lack of knowledge regarding the overall structure of the business, electricians who move into the business owning space often find themselves confused by the day-to-day -day operations of the actual business. While attending to technical jobs is well within the ability of the owner, tasks such as the delegation of work and community communication with other workers, ranging from bookkeepers to administrative staff, can be difficult. The running of a business consists of a number of moving parts after all, with the owner having to come to terms with the management of employees, contractors, support staff, tax, compliance, and even invoicing. These business management skills have to be learned before an owner begins to run his business into the ground. There are few business management courses out there that will provide owners with the knowledge that they require in this regard, but for courses such as these to help, the owner has to take requisite steps and enroll, which is surprisingly what many owners refuse to do. According to research, owners of failing businesses have a tendency to blame the failings of their business on external factors over and above internal factors. And this makes sense considering how they have been working as electricians for decades and as such believe that they have sufficient knowledge without going back to school once more. The unfortunate truth of the matter, however, is that it's this mindset that needs to be changed. Get away from the concept of not being able to teach a dog new tricks and you'll find yourself succeeding with the requisite business management knowledge at your disposal. And remember, the Electrician Accelerator is always there to help you gain the knowledge you need. Number four, business compliance. Another aspect lacking from a great many failing electrical businesses has to do with the overall compliance of the business to the rules and regulations in place in Australia. And since many lawyers and compliance officers take years to understand the complex nature of compliance, you shouldn't be ashamed if you find yourself yourself needing a little bit of help in this regard. And since having the right business structure ends up impacting your taxes and other compliance obligations, it's probably best that you get this help before developing your business structure as we mentioned earlier. Whether you're operating as a sole trader or company, you need to be aware of your tax obligations, eligible tax breaks, and regulatory framework. Operating without this knowledge causes you to run the risk of operating contrary to applicable regulations, resulting in a number of fines that can be quite damaging to your business overall. Getting professional advice from an accountant, lawyer, or consultant might be the best way to proceed when you first start your business. But but if you have already begun the day-to-day -day operations of your business, these professionals can still be approached. It's better to get your hands on this information and advice before things end up going pear-shaped after all. There is, however, a great way to overcome this difficulty, but requires a lot more investment at the end of the day. By buying a reputable electrical contracting franchise, you can usually overcome the majority of the issues already mentioned on this list. But if you want to, or have already created your own baby, these professionals have to be contacted for advice as soon as possible. Number five, marketing strategies. Last but not least, a great many electrical business owners fall short when it comes to the marketing of their new business. While jobs come in quickly when you're working as an electrician for a reputable company. The same cannot be said for a company that has only just gotten itself off the ground. And while it may be true that an electrician has built himself a client list consisting of friends and family, a successful business can only develop from a solid inflow of work. This is what makes marketing knowledge so incredibly important. Luckily for those who have already started their businesses, there are a great many portals available to obtain free knowledge on marketing strategies. But if you really want the greatest information and support, we need to refer you once more to Electrician Accelerator, where you will find both information and support to help you on your way. Electrician Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work. 
free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video. But what do you think about the strategies to overcome these difficulties? Let us know in the comment sections down below.